Hi, this is Bambi, and I'm with Linda A.V. down at Stanford. Um, Linda is the um, co-founder and CEO of 23andMe. Hi, Linda. Hi. So tell me about 23andMe. Uh, 23andMe is a company where an individual can come and get access to their personal genetic information, and our job is to explain what does this mean, what do all these A's, G's, T's, and C's mean to a person, to an individual, and then we enable them to build networks around their genetics with other people whose interests they might share. And it's $1,000, $999. Um, why that price point? Um, do you think that's, uh, did you do any testing? I just wonder, like maybe it may be a little bit high or maybe too low. Uh, it's a, it's um, something that we did uh, talk about a lot before we launched, but we felt like it was a price that would be um, affordable for some people, certainly not for everyone, but we feel like it's a good entry point into the market, and then we will certainly be offering different ways of, of access to the technology as time goes on. So this is just our initial in entry into the marketplace. Okay, so you raised $4 million, right? Is that in total? Um, uh, actually more, now? it was around, it was just, short, just short of $10 million. Oh, short of $10 million altogether. So what are you going to do with the $10 million? Well, it's supporting the, the building the company and building the infrastructure for storage of the data and building the engineering and science team as well as the marketing and sales and, and all of the, the individuals and, and uh, employees that we need to really build the business. Okay. How long does that take you before you have to go out and get some more money? Um, it's a good question. We're not, we're not raising money right now. Okay. I'm sorry I have to ask you a question about sort of the Google investment, but is this something, is this Google's entree into so the genetic industry or genetic uh, coding or indexing? Oh, they're just very supportive of us. I think they're very interested, obviously, in this field of personal genetics, and mm -hmm. uh, they're very um, interested in where this might head, but you know, we're a very independent company, and we get support from them as we need it and as we, we request it, but um, they're, you know, they're more of a strategic investor. So talk about a little bit about your philosophy in providing lots of conditions versus sort of Navigenics, which has only gives you sort of 17 conditions based on your, uh, your DNA. So why is that more, I guess, a liberal approach if you, if you Well, there was some, based on early response that we got from our customers, they wanted more information, and we feel like as long as we're presenting it to them in a very responsible manner, what we do is we explain these discoveries that are coming out of the research community, and they cover a very broad range, but what we also do is we sort of caveat some of the, the discoveries and put them into different categories. We have a vetting process that explains whether this is really solid science or if it's still preliminary and you know, needs more validation, needs more replication work before we can say it's established research. So are you going for, it seems like there's several markets here, or opportunities, you can follow the ancestry, you know, really look at making those connections or uh, look for, you know, profile, profile uh, create risk profiles for health conditions, um, are, are you going for both, um, which, which is the biggest oppor bigger opportunity? Uh, you know, I think it's hard to say at this point. Uh, we find from customers we do talk to that are, you know, that come and give us information that they're, it's really split. Some people are very interested in the ancestry side, whereas some people are very interested in the health side. So that's why we wanted to make sure we were more broad in what information we give back to our customers because um, they, they seem to want as much information as they can. Okay, and last question, and this may be too personal, but so what did you find out about yourself based on your genome scanning, if that's the way, what we call it? Well, it's sort of a joke, but my older siblings also, always used to claim that I was adopted. And uh. I know now for sure, absolutely positively, I was not adopted. I look very similar to my siblings and my parents. So, oh. so but overall, it was, it was really fun, and it's been really interesting to look at my husband, my children, my parents. We've, I've done a, a big set of my family, and it's just been fascinating. Yeah. Well, congratulations on, on, the, on the, the recent launch, I guess, in November, and uh, your funding, and uh, good luck to you. All right. Thanks very much, baby.